Welcome to the Listening Time Podcast. I'm Connor with Polyglossa.com, and you're listening to Episode 1 of the Listening Time Podcast. This podcast is for English learners who want to practice their English listening. This is a good resource for you if you're not able to understand real native speech spoken at real speed, but you're more advanced than just a low beginner level. If that's your case, then this is a great podcast for you. So today, in this introduction episode, I'm going to talk to you about a few things. I'm going to talk to you about the format of this podcast. I'm going to explain how it works and the structure of it. And I'm going to talk to you about how to use this podcast, how it can be mo most beneficial to you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about me, Connor. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So, let's get to it. Are your ears ready? You know what time it is. It's listening time. All right. So, first, let's talk about the format of this podcast. This podcast will air on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least that's how I plan to air the podcast right now. But most likely it will be three days a week. So you should have plenty of podcasts to use to practice your listening. And each podcast will be about 25 minutes in length. Some of them might be shorter and some of them might be longer. But <clears throat> in general... Each podcast will be somewhere around 25 minutes long. So you have a pretty long podcast and a lot of material to practice your listening. So in each podcast, I'm planning on talking about two or three different topics each time. For example, maybe today I want to talk about travel and food. Or maybe tomorrow I want to talk about cars or other everyday routine topics. Really, I'm going to talk about everything. So hopefully the topics will be interesting for you and they'll be new each time and it will be a good resource for you overall. I'm going to be speaking very clearly as clear as I can. Um, you can hear an example of that with this intro podcast. I'm speaking pretty clearly, right? My voice is relatively easy to understand, uh, easier than most native speakers. And so I'm going to be speaking pretty clearly, and I'll be speaking just a little bit more slowly than I would normally speak with other Americans or other native speakers. So I'm not speaking really slowly. I'm not speaking at a really unnatural pace, but I'm speaking just a little bit more slowly and a little more clearly than the average American. So with each podcast, you'll also have access to the transcript. So the transcript will help you understand all the words and phrases you missed the first time around. Maybe if you listen to me right now, you can understand most of what I'm saying, but not everything. And so the transcript will help you fill in the gaps for those missing words or missing phrases etc. The transcripts will be auto-generated, so they won't be perfect. I'll try to edit them a little bit before uploading them, but honestly, I probably won't have the time to edit all the mistakes in the transcripts, 
but hopefully there won't be too many. So that will be a great resource for you as well to help you with these podcasts. So now let's talk about how to use this podcast. So first of all, who is this podcast for? Who should be listening to the Listening Time podcast? Well, ideally, if you have an English level of lower intermediate or higher beginning, uh, this is probably a good resource for you. For example, if you have an A2 level of English or a B1 level of English, this will be perfect for you to practice with. However, if you have a higher level, let's say a B2 level, that's okay. You can use this podcast uh, to help you understand even better, to help you improve your listening. It should still be a good tool because I will undoubtedly use certain words or phrases that are new to you. So even if you can understand 95% of what I'm saying, this podcast should still be a good resource for you because of the sheer amount of vocabulary that you'll hear during this podcast. And on the other side, if you have an A1 level, this podcast will probably be too difficult for you. I'm not speaking very slowly. I'm speaking a little slow, but not very slowly. And I'm going to be using normal vocabulary that I would normally use with other native speakers. So if you're at a lower beginning level, like A1, or maybe a very low A2 level, this might be too hard for you. But if you're really motivated, if you really want to listen to this podcast, that's great. And you have the transcript. So the transcript should help you if you read through it and look up all the new words, all the new phrases, and then listen to this podcast again. That will definitely be helpful for you. But ideally... This podcast is for people who are at a level where they can understand uh, unnatural, uh, scripted speech very easily, but they can't understand authentic native speech uh, that is spoken um, at a real pace, a real speed. If that's your level... This podcast is perfect for you. The reason I made this podcast, or I'm making this podcast, is to help students transition between that really fake, scripted, beginner, listening practice type videos uh, to real, authentic content. So maybe you can't understand... Uh, American podcasts made for American listeners, uh, but using the really artificial, fake listening practice lessons that you find online or in paid programs, maybe those are too unnatural or too easy for you, and you need help transitioning between those beginner level programs and real speech, right? So this podcast will be a podcast for you to transition to real speech. So uh, I'm speaking without a script, okay? I didn't plan the words that I'm saying right now. I'm speaking spontaneously. So you're hearing me, Connor, speaking normally, just a little bit slower and a little bit more clearly. But the words I'm saying, the vocabulary I'm using, uh, all the things I'm saying are normal for me. 
I'm not reading something right now. And that's what makes this podcast really useful is that I'm not I'm not writing scripts for it. So if I write a script and read it, you're not going to hear authentic speech, right? I'm going to be reading and that's not real speech. But if I do the podcast like this without a script, then you're going to be able to hear what real speech sounds like just in a clearer and slower way, right? So that should be helpful for you. And I hope you find this type of talking, this type of audio useful. I know I do. When I learn other languages, I always search for podcasts or other audio like this, where it's a native speaker who's speaking uh, maybe a little bit more clearly than the average native speaker. And I use those videos, podcasts, audios to improve my listening when I'm learning other languages. So hopefully this will be a good tool for you to do that. So uh, as I mentioned before, this podcast is more for learners who are not ready for real content yet. If you have a very high level and you can understand real content, there's really no need for you to use this podcast. But of course, if you want to, you can listen. I'm happy to have you here uh, listening to this podcast. So in terms of how to use it exactly, uh, I recommend two ways. You can listen to this podcast actively or you can listen to it passively. So when I say actively, I mean that you sit down, put your headphones in, pull up the transcript and listen and do nothing else. That's active listening. Of course, that's fantastic. That's very helpful if you can do that, right? That will be the most beneficial way for you to listen to this podcast. Um, and when you do that, you can read the transcript or you can just listen to the podcast. It depends on how you want to use it, how much you understand. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. But before that, I want to talk about passive listening. So if you don't have a bunch of free time, but you still want to practice your English listening, you can listen to this podcast passively. What does that mean? Well, while you're doing something else, for example, driving to work, washing the dishes, cleaning the house, exercising, things like that, where you're uh, doing one thing, but your brain is free, you can use that time to listen to this podcast passively. You can use this podcast during that time. And of course, you won't be 100% focused on the podcast. You won't be 100% focused on what you're listening to, but you'll still be able to listen, learn new vocabulary, train your listening, etc. So you can listen to the podcast actively or passively or both. You probably have time or situations where you can do both in one day. So in terms of the transcript, right, you might ask, how do I use the transcript? Well, let me tell you how I use transcripts when I do my listening practice when I learn languages. So what I do is if I have the transcript to an audio, I read the transcript first and I look up any new words that I don't know. And then after that, I listen to the audio with the transcript. However, if the audio is at a level that's somewhat 
easy for me, if it's not too difficult, or if the subject is very familiar to me, then sometimes I'll just listen to the podcast the first time without the transcript. I'll listen to the audio the first time without reading it. You'll know based on your level how you can go about listening the first time, right? If you have a higher level, like B1, maybe you want to try listening without the transcript the first time. Or if you have a lower level, like an A2 level, maybe you'll want to start with the transcript. However, regardless of whether you use the transcript the first time or no, or whether you do it like me and you read the whole transcript the first time before listening to the podcast, regardless of what you do, what I really recommend that you do is repeat, right? Listen to the same podcast episode multiple times. This is what I do when I'm practicing my listening in other languages. I listen to the same audio three, four, five, even ten times sometimes. And the reason I do this is because when you repeat an audio like that, or when you read something again and again, what happens is that your brain starts to acquire the new vocabulary, the new phrases, the grammatical structures. Really, you don't even realize it's happening, but it happens. When I do this repetition with my listening practice, I realize that I don't have to write down any new vocabulary. When I repeat the same audio five times, for example, by the end of the fifth time, I realize that I remember the new words. I remember the new phrases. I can use the new grammatical structures. I realize that my brain is capturing all this through the repetition. So now when I do my listening practice, I never have to write lists of vocabulary words. I never do that anymore. In the past, before I used this repetition technique, I always did that. I always had, had lists of vocabulary. But now, I don't. Now, I remember all of the new vocabulary, all of the new phrases, as long as I repeat the same audio many times. So, I recommend you listen to each episode multiple times, right? With the transcript, without the transcript, or the way I do it is I first read the transcript, then I listen with the transcript a couple times, and then I listen without the transcript a couple times. And this is extremely helpful for me. So I recommend you do this as well. And you might say, well, it's a little boring to listen to the same thing multiple times. I understand that. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to find interesting topics to talk about so that it won't be too boring to repeat the same podcast. Hopefully, you'll like the topics I choose, and they'll be everyday, contemporary topics or uh, other types of topics. But in general, hopefully, they'll be interesting. And you can always uh, request new topics if you want me to talk about a specific subject. So, lastly, let me talk a little bit about myself. I'm Connor. I'm from California, and I love languages. I've learned several languages. I'm not a polyglot. I wouldn't consider myself a polyglot, but I speak English, of course, which is my native language, and I speak Spanish every day. I speak it fluently. I also speak Portuguese. Um, I'm not really advanced, but I can have conversations without any problem in Portuguese. 
And currently, I'm learning French. And lastly, I've also learned some Greek. And I can have very basic conversations in Greek. But I'm not focused on that language right now. But I'll definitely return to it in the future. So I love languages. I'm a language learner just like you. And so that's why it's fun for me to make this podcast because I like helping other people with their language learning. So I've been teaching English for many years now, my whole career. And currently, I have a website called polyglossa.com. And on this website, I offer $1 seminars about different English topics. They're only $1, so they're very cheap. And each one is about 30 minutes. So it's a good deal. Cheap, and you get 30 minutes of English. And I focus most of the seminars on pronunciation and listening. These are the two elements of English that I'm most passionate about. I love teaching pronunciation, and I love helping English learners improve their listening. I'm really passionate about these two things, and I want to help everyone in these areas. So I also have seminars on some grammar topics as well, but most of the seminars are for listening and pronunciation. So if you need help in those areas, if you want more in-depth practice, I recommend you go to polyglossa.com and sign up for those $1 seminars. Cheap and easy. I also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash polyglossa. And on that channel, I make a lot of videos about listening. So if this podcast isn't enough practice for you, if you want more practice, you can go to those YouTube videos, those listening practice videos, and you can use them to train even more. I have videos for A1, A2, B1, B2, different levels. So that's a good resource for you if you want to practice your listening. And in terms of pronunciation, my Instagram account is more dedicated to that element. So the Instagram username is at Polyglossa Languages. So you can check out that account and you'll find videos on pronunciation. I teach you how to pronounce difficult words in English and some other elements of English as well. So yeah, those are all good resources for you to use online to improve your listening and your pronunciation in English. And of course, this podcast will be focused on listening, and this will hopefully be your number one listening resource. So remember to check out polyglossa.com for those $1 seminars to train your listening or pronunciation. And of course, come back for episode two of the Listening Time podcast. Okay, it's been a pleasure talking to you today, and I'll talk to you next time during episode two of the Listening Time podcast. Mm -hmm.